99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Welcome back to Dampo Conversations right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. And it's a good afternoon. How are you? Welcome to Dampo Conversations. Okay. The only show that takes you jiggy jaga jiggy jaga jiggy. It's been another eventful week. Um, for me, it's been rather busy, and um, there's but a lot that I have to be grateful for. A lot, a great deal. This morning, I'm watching the news, and of course, in case you all forgot, because we have. We do have a habit of forgetting in this country, not that it's your fault, it's just so many things happen. Today is 10 years of the Chibok girls, the abduction of the Chibok girls, 10 years ago today. 10 years. Incredible, right? It's gone so fast. And um, I was watching their interview this morning, two of the girls, Jumai and Amina, two of the girls who were rescued and, you know, they're very articulate. Um, they talked about they talked about their life, you know, after being rescued. Both of them are in the American University in Yola, A U N. Um, you know, they talked about just getting on with life. I think one of them had a child in captivity because or she got pregnant because she has an eight year old. That's Amina. The other one has a child that's quite young, so not in, not while in captivity. There was also another gentleman, a resident of Chibok, who was also on the interview. And, um, you know, it, listening to them, and I was really, I, you know, I really got into the interview. What, what really disturbed me, and which I hated the most out of what they said, is stigma. They said they still suffer, they get stigmatized by their schoolmates, they get stigma in university, that is, they get stigmatized by the teachers. Stigma. I mean, how do you even begin to stigmatize rescued, kidnapped victims? How? What level of ignorance? What level of stupidity, nastiness? What level of inhumanity drives you to stigmatize survivors of trauma, that sort of trauma, which was actually a national trauma? But they talked about being stigmatized. In fact, I remember Amina saying that one of the things that they would laugh at them was um, at, at them for was how they spoke, um, you know, the language. Well. I was listening to this young, beautiful woman, Amina, today, and I understood everything she said, and she spoke better than a lot of people that I know who have not experienced that trauma. A lot, a lot, a lot that I come across. Even that I hear in our media, I hear all sorts of terrible sentence, terrible English, bad grammar. But she spoke it and she spoke it beautifully. And she said, you know, they laugh at them because of the way they speak about the language which is English she's referring to. She said, but that's not our fault. It, it's, it just, yeah, we need to do better. No, if you're out there, I'm not going to say we because I don't do that. This is not going to be a collective thing, right? If you're out there and you do that, you need to do better. You really, really, really need to do better. Get your head out of the gutter. Get it out of your body odor and start smelling the world. Okay? Smell the world. Smell the flowers. See the beauty. Engage with empathy and humanity. And I wish Amina and Jumai and all the survivors of trauma, the Chibok girls, the survivors of trauma, I wish everybody the very very best continued healing and peace but yeah the chibok girls say a prayer for them 10 years and they're not all back as you know but anyway that's not what i'm going to talk about today 
There's another trauma, albeit a small one, but it is traumatic. Because trauma comes in different shapes, forms, and sizes. The trauma that was inflicted on us this week that electricity tariffs are going up, 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 up. Shocking. Absolutely disgusting, I say. And I understand why. We will get into the whys because I know some of you are going to call me on 0700 993 993 993. Or you're going to call the other line 0201. Four six five seven one nine zero. We're going to talk about it. You will send zero eight zero nine five nine seven five eight zero five. That's where you will send the WhatsApp. But um, yeah, I I know the whys. I get the whys. We'll talk about the whys. Let's talk about the whys. Let's talk about how we got here. But fundamentally, let's talk about what. How dare you? How dare you do it now, 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 now? Why now? I mean, okay, you know, there is this argument that it should have happened before and it should have happened gradually and everything. And I get it and I totally understand. I understand the fact that um, um, the previous NEPA assets were sold to the discos in dollars, USD. And you can imagine, as of the time, as of the time, the rate was God. I don't know, 200 naira or so, 150 naira or so. And now the rate is what? Five times that or so. So yes, and some of people, some of those people are still paying for those um, um, dollar loans. But, 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 we Nigerians, we have our own pains. But, but the other thing is though, all these discos, Eco Disco at the very least, they reported, um, they filed profits in the last year. So I'm not even sure where that empathy, where I'm supposed to feel sorry for them. It's, it's the sort of, it's the non-emotional part of me that's trying to, that's really kind of trying to bring in some logic, if you like, some sober analysis into this. But the me, that is Nigerian, no, I don't care. I, you reported profits. I'm not feeling it. I do not want to feel you right now if you're a disco. Eco disco, you catch a disco, whatever disco, all the other discos. Abuja disco, all of them. And I get that you've got businesses to run. But guess what? So here are the businesses, apart from just homes. What the trigger for me to talk about this today is a post, another post that I read on Twitter. It's by Mohammed Jamal at White Nigerian. He wrote, can't sleep thinking about the tariff increase in power. It might just mean businesses will shut down. The money you were trying to get will be lost. People will lose their jobs and it will be a loss, loss situation, unfortunately. Broken heart. So that's what I want to talk about. How is this going to affect your business? How is this? Talk about it. Let's speak it out. You just never know, never know what we can do. But we need to speak it out. Don't put the pain inside. Don't, don't, don't hold it in. Speak it out. How is this going to affect your, you know, your business? What business do you do? What are you going to have to end up paying? What were you paying before? Let's talk. Hello. 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 <laughs> good afternoon. Um, is that Merchant Man? Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. Last week the network was so bad I couldn't get through. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. This topic, uh, in fact, um, God bless you for bringing all those crucial, wonderful topics mm. always. Mm. Your question is, um, how will it affect us? Yes, your business. Personally, I, the kind of business I do, I deal on electronics and electricals. Right. Now, if you are on this kind of business we are talking about, you always depend on the customers that yeah. uh, generally use electrical products. But since all these issues have started, the rate in which we do business has dropped. Ah. You know? People, okay, apart from the supplies, now, 
people are looking at it from the angle that uh, what is the sense of um, um, going to buy things that I will not use? Because it is when you go home and you realize that uh, what you will use, there is motivation. There mm. is no light. And even people who would want to buy the petrol to fuel their generators and all that uh, are not having all it takes to buy the petrol to fuel their generators. Mm. I don't know why we find ourselves... Is it that the is it that somebody said black man is cost? Is it that we are cost that we don't want to look um, at the sufferings of our fellow human beings? Mm -hmm. Okay, the last time when they uh, transmitted from Nepal to Genko and the um, yes, other one... Yes, when it was one, private, privatized. Uh -huh. Genko yes, and when it was privatized. Everybody was looking at it from the angle that there will be massive improvement. Mm. That improvement we are looking at was what actually motivated us because then Pat Naji did something when, I think that was during the, the time of um, Nathan. Yeah. He did something that was so impressive that there was a turn around, a revolution in electricity. And people were very, very happy to um, join the issue of tra um, this um, uh, privatization. But now, what we see, so good. What annoys me so much is when I hear some people, somebody called, I think, day four years ago yesterday on the radio and said, uh, if they can increase the, uh, the tariff and we still have life. This is what some people continue to speak on the radio, that is not about the increment. Who, who, who is saying it's not about the increment? You increase with 240%. And somebody is saying it's not about the increment, it's about the availability of the light. The truth is, you don't see the light. And the rate in which you pay for the light you do not use. Mm. In fact, we are subsidizing for darkness. People are paying for what they are not using. What mm. kind of life is this, Mr. Okay. I am always happy when you bring national issues on radio for people. At least if we are not um, seeing the, 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 anything to pacify our mind, at least it's better that you are having a brunt of something, you have your views to be aired then. When you, are, when you are born in inside, you have all it takes to cry out. Indeed. Thank you for giving us the platform to cry out the way it hurt us. Thank it you. is so painful to live your life and do business, Nigeria. God bless you. God bless you, you too, Nigeria. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you, sir. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you turn off your radio, please? Are you okay with me? Yes. Can you? Is your radio off now? Yes. Excellent. Um, what's, what's your name and where concern, you calling from, please? I'm Pastor Badamosti from Suruleri. Go ahead, Pastor. Uh, what I'm concerned about is that this consistent hike in the 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 money we pay to these electricity people is going to hurt us a lot. It's getting too much, and they should reverse it. Too. They should not allow them to do it because it's going to affect us. We are actually down now, and they should reconsider. Now, these people, they say they, they went into a contract in dollars and the rest of it. Those people who designed the agreement and all that, they should have known that these people, are they capable, they, were, they, they weren't capable of getting those, uh, those uh, contracts, but they, 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 they give it to them. As we have, we have, we have been suffering, they have, not, they have not been able to give us anything. So they've just been milking us. The estimated billing, they're just milking us. Well, they're not they, doing estimated billing. That is the thing. It is for those who are metered that this will affect. It is the per kilowatt charge, not estimated billing. So the cost yes, that yes. you pay, the, what you pay for your per kilowatt has gone up. The per, kilo, the per kilowatt is also tied to these prepaid meters too. Is that not so? That's what I'm saying. So it's not estimated billing. A meter is not estimated billing. It's only when you don't have a meter that your bill is estimated. So you yes. have a prepaid meter. So you buy, you can buy 5K, 10K, 100K, whatever, but, but the, in the, advance. The, the, the estimated billing thing is to bridge the gap between, you know, is to give them money for those who are, who are really paying. Yes, yeah, so well. those who don't have a meter... Don't yes. have the new meter, the e meter, yes. will yes. Uh, get estimated billing. But I have no yes. sympathy for them because you're yes. supposed to have a meter. 
If you have yeah. a meter, you can question them. You can tell them to prove it for you. If you don't yeah. have a meter, you've given them the power to charge you whatever they want to charge. They should not but give us you. irate. They should not give us irate now. Okay. Because the country is down. Thank you. We are suffering. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Hello. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sisiogi. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Joy. I'm calling from Amara. Go ahead, Joy. You have two minutes before we go on break. Okay. On. What I want to say in this issue, you said there's a, something you said now that you have pity on those that don't have their meter. I said I what don't. About... I said I don't have pity. I do not have pity for those who do not have meters. Okay. What about like those of us that apply for meter for more than one year? Aha, uh -huh, that's a different matter. So it see, they that's not your to, fault. They, they refuse to give us meter. They say yes. there is no meter. Though what I want to say is that in this issue, they are using all this to oppress the poor. But one thing I want to say that as for me, oh, I will not allow myself to be oppressed by these people. Like me now, for the past one year now, since I applied for the meter, they refuse to give me. I have not been using light. I went to buy solar from one, uh, one of the uh, telecommunication companies. Mm. There was a time they were doing promo for solar. You will be paying small, small. You should pay for five years, it now becomes your own. I have to go and buy that uh, solar at that time, five years ago. I paid, I paid, and now it is now mine. In my little corner, I'm using it to do my business, to charge phone and torch for the people around me where I am staying. And it is serving me. I'm enjoying it more than NEPA. I'm not paying any NEPA bill. The solar I'm not paying. It's only when the sun comes out, it will charge. I use it to charge phone. I use it to charge torches for people. What will I want to say in this, our country, we should not allow these people to continue to oppress us. You will see every day people will be lamenting, talking and talking and talking. They will not hear. They will talk and talk and talk. They will not hear. What we have to do, let us help ourselves. If we can be able to see another alternative, if it is this solar, let people go for this solar. It's very good. But you if have, everybody you have, okay. can go for solar, and leave this their life for them. Okay. And leave it for them. Let okay. me see who they will be collecting all this money from. I totally because hear you. Wickedness. Yeah, you, we do have the option to do so. Like the government can't stop you, will not stop you. There is no law against you actually installing sto solar power. So good for you. Thank you for that alternative. Many people have heard you. Thank you. We're supposed to go on break now? Okay, we'll be right back after this break. Stay calling. The biggest stories are around the world. 3,298 inmates on death roll in Nigeria prisons. All in one platform. Plans are underway to evacuate Nigerians in Sudan. Let's talk sport. Let's talk information, news, and current affairs. He recommends that China should not be a defendant when we have election petitions. Together, we'll have a great conversation and more. On 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. I got that defined boy. You have just won yourself. Hello, good morning. Yes, Melitus. My one player don't for two players because he won 20k. So now you won yourself 20,000 naira. My name is well done. Okay, well done. You want to tell you well done? You won yourself 20,000 naira. With 500 naira, you can play to win big from 120,000 naira to 190,000 naira daily on Nigeria Info. Go to oneplay.ng and play with 500 naira. And in a few seconds, your ticket is in the draw. Or dial star 347, star 880, star 3 hash. Win daily on Nigeria Info. 50,000 naira on Minecraft Fire. 60,000 naira on WhatsApp Lagos. 20,000 naira on Sunny Side. And 60,000 naira on Game On. So Lagos, what are you waiting for? The more you play, the better your chances of winning. Remember to dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Play responsibly, not suitable for persons under the age of 18. Welcome back to your number one talk, news and sports station. This is Nigeria Info. Welcome back to Zample Conversations, right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Welcome back to Danfo Conversations. We're still talking. How is the tariff, the increased tariff, going to affect your business? Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah. Mr. Francis calling from here. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Francis. 
Yes. Um, I think the, on the issue of uh, increment on the light, mm. well, I think uh, uh, increasing the light now is not the right thing for the government to do. I'm not saying where that, uh, there is hardship in the land. People are not finding it funny. So, and they still went ahead to increase the light. And they refuse to meet ours. You know, as I'm speaking with you right now, since 2017, I pulled out our national group. I'm not using NEPA. I'm not using NEPA. I have many alternative means, and uh, I'm in my gym as well. And I'm, I'm okay with it. That connecting the uh, estimated billing, I'll be paying for what I do not uh, make use of. I don't think uh, government is right on the outside. I think it's for the government to do the right thing by metering everybody. Let them meet at this for free. It was declared for free, but some wicked Nigerians still confiscate that meter. You understand? And if I may ask, why is it that Nigerian government refuse to patronize our homemade meter? They prefer going to China. Eh? It's okay. I don't know. I I, didn't, I wasn't aware of that, that, but that's a whole different topic. Today, I'm Nigeria talking about produce, I'm talking so, about so, the so, cost. Mm -hmm. All right, ma. The cost is quite high. So, Nigeria, we shouldn't accept it. So, no, APC made administration for, for nine years now. They are running Nigeria anyhow they like. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they increase things. They just increase it without considering Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I believe there's no government without a people. Okay, thank you. you. At, at they meet fuel at one one uh, at eighty seven naira. Today now we are buying fuel above seven hundred. Mm -hmm. But okay? your governors, now but we... your governors, but your governors, your governors are getting a yes. huge load of money. That money that they're saving from subsidy is why the FAC allocation has gone up, which governors are supposed to use to alleviate the pains of the uh, indigents. I'm just saying. I'm our just saying, sir. Our, I'm just saying. Our governors, our governors, they are wicked. They are. They are very, very wicked. I they can't very, argue with you, wicked. sir. And they are the biggest problem in this country. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello? Yeah, good afternoon. This is your good afternoon, sir. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Rapuchuku. Okay, Rapuchuku, how are you? Thank God. Go ahead. And how, and how are you doing? I'm very well, my love. Okay. Go ahead. Good. Okay. Um, well, uh, the issue of uh, electricity tariff, high cost of electricity in this country, is so boring, honest. Because, first of all, the way it's happening down here, this country, Something I cannot imagine. Because you, people are going, I mean, on told hardship as far as electricity is concerned in this country. You pay for what you don't consume. You don't have, I mean, constant power supply. At the end of everything, they bring uh, estimated, they bring bill. As far as the 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 the, the, the wish, yeah, and the, the consumers must pay. You don't have alternative. You must pay for what you don't consume. At times you see light that six hours in a month, and you must pay for the month for what you don't consume. Well, well, it's, hold on. So, so we have meters this is concerning meters right so prepaid meters right okay okay your meter Good. you put money into it you pay for it in advance what yeah prepared right. meter yeah so how much the, the amount of money you're paying for per kilowatt yes okay i can ask uh, like i myself i'm talking of myself yeah uh, do you not have a meter I, you sir don't you have a meter I have prepared meter in my okay, house. Okay. I have for it. Okay. You know, it's not uh, that easy, but I know how much it takes me. 
Okay. You know that we'll be staying there. You pay for um, estimate. I mean, uh, prepared meter, prepared meter. Mm-hmm. But when you get into it, you pay extra money. You don't expect. You settle this one. Settle this neighbor of future. Settle why this, you, settle that. Why are you settling people if it's a prepaid meter? Yeah, I'm settling them before I get it in my oh, house. Oh, before they install it. Yeah, I before see. they install it. You have to pay this, pay that. But at the same time, is I can tell you it's good than what they bring before. Maybe at the end of the month, you pay what you don't consume. But this one, I run it with my unit. I, like I can buy 10,000 naira pay, maybe monthly. Uh, I start using it. If they bring light, if they don't bring my unit is still there. If they bring, I, I use what I consume. I pay, I, the unit is going like what you consume. Okay. At a time, it will come like uh, 120 units. Yeah. You know? Then I'll be using it. Maybe by the end of the month, it might be run out. out. Then I'll get another another one. Just okay. like, so, so, like you're doing our, our MTN and the... Yeah. Uh, so... What, how, what, I, what I'm asking, do you have a business, Rapuchuku? When I have a business. Yeah, do you have a business? Yeah, I'm a businessman. Right. Okay, you're a businessman. So this is the question. How will this price hike affect your business? Good. Good question. See, um, uh, Sister Oga, as far as I'm concerned, you know, what I'm interested in is, let this power supply be constant. Let it be constant. Even in abroad, overseas, you you have the light, constant supply, and you pay the bill. You know? But uh, what I'm complaining is this part of the country, you don't have the light constant. And they still bring, like, people who are not using a uh, uh, prepared meter. Okay, or even if you. you are using you don't have the light constantly. If you have the light constantly, you don't mind how okay. much the meter runs, especially yes. when you are using the prepared absolutely. meter. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And My therein lies let, the point, yes. Let the light be constant. Mm-hmm. Thank then you. We, 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 there's nothing, once you are using something, you pay for it. Thank you. And you know how much you consume it. You reduce your, your, your loading. Okay. You know? Yes. You don't load uh, so many things at once. Thank you. You reduce your loading. Yes, you do. Thank yeah, you so very I much. have prepared meat and I use it and uh, it runs by unit. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks, Rapachuku. Thank you. Right. Let me read more. Oh, Te- oh, you have to turn off your radio. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? Where are you calling from, please? My name is Roland. Okay, Roland. I'm calling from... I'm word of him. Okay, go ahead, Roland. You have two minutes. Okay. I run an apartment. Okay. You live in there or is that your office? No, no, I don't live there. I run an apartment. When you say you run an apartment, what do you mean? You means you, like an hotel. Okay, you okay, you have a hotel. Now, you run an hotel, right. Increment in prepaid charges now. This government is trying to start letting people to start doing what they call by in my rooms, mm-hmm. there are like 19 ACs, refrigerators, everything and all. Monthly, I recharge my prepaid more than 2 point something million euro. With the increment now, which means I should be running nothing less than 8 million euro. Wow. And wow. I'm telling you the truth. Now... I'm how many rooms? How many rooms in your 19 hotel? Nineteen rooms. Nineteen, 19 rooms. rooms. Okay. And if you notice, since January this year, the way those megawatts do run is quite different from the way it's been run as at last year. You might load on a prepaid probably two hundred thousand naira. Do you know, before, it, it does last like two weeks plus. But this time around, it's, it won't even still up to like 10 days. Yes, because the, 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 the in fact, 
been going yes, up the, the, steadily. The people actually yes. increased it before it's been go- the announcement. Yes, but yes. people don't notice. it. There's been increase. Yes, 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 absolutely. Seriously. There was an increase um, a couple, about Since six months December, ago. Yes, December, there was an January. increase. December, Yes. If people take notes, because I take notes, because I know if I recharge the prepaid for 200000 it ought to have last, nothing like that, three weeks. But this time, since December, January, the way it, it does run off, just like sometimes if you recharge your phone, you know, the way they charge, you know, seriously, the government is not actually helping issues at all. So what are you going to do, if I may ask? Thank God, I have, though I was among the people, I actually have an, a solar stuff. Solar and power. Now, yeah, mm-hmm. solar you know, battery and everything. Mm-hmm. And now the rate at which those solar Batteries, panel, everything is going now. It is not a child's play. They've, they've gotten very expensive. Seriously. Now, tell me something. So, with the solar power that you have, are you able to have your AC, the AC room? What's Let the, me not lie. Let the, me not lie. Yes. I have 19 rooms. 19 Whenever rooms. I turn my solar on, obviously, I can run the 19 AC at the same time. Of course, of so course. So, smartly, I connected my solar to, like, 10 rooms. Okay, Because it's good. not all the time. That the, the all the 19 full. rooms will be full. Exactly. Right, so... And un, whosoever that lodge must be telling you, Oga, we need AC. Mm. You understand me mm. now? Seriously, see, I don't, I don't, I just wonder. I thought Tinubu actually asked me, they traveled to Qatar to bring in investors. Is mm. this how the investors will be running? Well, so let me, because because of where you were, and you're the perfect person that I was hoping would call in, you know, because you... I know, you're most are just saying what, yes. no, they don't really get the yes. line. I, 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 I'm, I'm not supposed to call, I love listening, but I said, let me call him because you've not really, like, got the caller. Exactly. Oh, exactly, exactly. So, so me, with this the is the thing. This thing. I should be looking to return my prepaid, will be over, like, Eight point something million. Wow. That's the truth. And hotel rate is not gonna go up. Wow. An apartment of whereby is And that's what I was going to ask. Would you be able to increase the cost of the room? You have to increase because you can't be doing I don't know. I'm even thinking of selling this thing off. Wow. They are saying bringing investors to come and invest, do business here in Nigeria, but the government are killing even the little ones you struggle. To achieve, so reputation l- will kill it. So Why? This is what they will tell you, and this is these are some some things that I have to share with you. And you know, I'm totally with you. You and I were on the same side on this one. However, I do have to bring, you know, sort of prevent the government side. So this is not APC. This was done a long time ago. I think it was during GJ's time, if I remember rightly. So when when those NEPA um, assets were sold. Because they were sold in USD, and it was, I can't remember the name of um, 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 who said that they should be sold in USD anyway. I think it was Ajero, if I remember rightly, if memory serves me well, don't quote me on that. Anyway, he suggested they be sold in USD. Those assets were sold in USD. As a result of that, this goes had to go and get loans in USD. As of that time, USD was 180, 200 naira to one. Okay. Now, exactly. Now, and of course, since then, we've been seeing it go up, 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 up. You know, it's never stayed at that, that rate. But what is, what, what is, what is crazy is that those assets shouldn't really have been sold at USD. Like a friend of mine, you know, a very close friend of mine who's an expert in this, and I'd spoken to him about this before I came on this show, is that what government should have done then was to sell those assets at one naira each. Okay? Against the USD. Uh, no. One naira each. Because, okay. the, yeah, to, 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 the, to the discos. Okay? Okay, okay? Yes. If you sell it then, and then government, because... This government has actually been subsidizing our light. That's why it's been low. Ever since. They've been subsidizing our light. But if they had sold it to them at one naira each, the investment would have been greater. All that money they were using to be paying off loans, government would have insisted that they invest that money 
do you understand, into yes, a stronger yes. infrastructure. Okay. But now, some of the discos, even though I have no sympathy for them, will tell you that we are still paying off this loan. And this exactly. loan, when you, have a, when you have a dollar loan, it can cripple you. Exactly. But here's tragic. the thing. In the UK, if that would make you feel better, it's a heck of a lot more expensive. It is more expensive. Although, we get, in the UK, you get light. I think there's like four national grids or something in the UK, right? So you can imagine, the UK that has 60 million people has four. How many do we have in Nigeria? One. Two over two. Hundred million, the madness is insane. So how government should have structured that privatization is not the way they structured it because clearly those who had vested interest didn't let government structure it properly. And that brings me back to what I call, and you can quote me on this: there are three economies in Nigeria. There's the formal, there's the informal, and there's the sabotage economy. And it's the sabotage economy that always comes back to haunt us because it only serves, a, you know, a minority of the citizen, minority of people, often those in power, my brother. So I am so sorry, but I'm so glad you shared this with us. I congratulate you for getting um, um, uh, solar in, as soon as possible. I have a friend who's totally off grid. The good thing is that government cannot stop us from being totally off grid. I okay. pray to God that you're able to get even more money. So you, especially your business, can be totally off grid because you need to be able to plan your spend, not be crippled. My, yeah. A friend of mine who just wants to like get a solar for his duplex, probably three rooms. Do you know how much cost? How much? As at last year, August, he was contemplating if he should. He was still saying it's too high. Now, he went now. They are telling him about the battery, the accessories and everything, cables, the panel and everything. is nothing less than 2.6 million naira. How many batteries? Four batteries. Okay. A battery is Why don't like, you tell him this? This okay. is also the other thing. Everybody's gone on to solar. I have an inverter. I have a four battery inverter, but I don't have solar. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You don't have you, a, um, a I don't panel. have solar. I don't have solar. I've had an inverter for the last 15 years. Right? Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, because because solar has been available in Nigeria all yeah, these years. It. Yes. So so but people are always saying solar. You don't have the only difference is that when there is no light, so I have to depend on when Nepa comes, Nepa feeds, Nepa powers my inverter, or if yeah. there's no Nepa, I use my gen to power my inverter. inverter. Right? Yeah. You, because you have solar, you have the sun to power your inverter. Me, I have inverter, have had inverter forever. I have four battery inverter. I don't have solar. I don't intend on buying solar because guess what? Is like it a dry cell or dry cell? It's a dry cell. Okay. Yes, oh, okay. I, and and uh, you know I do have. I'm not. I can't advertise my guy, no, no, no. but but unfortunately <laughs> I can't because he's absolutely brilliant, and he's not greedy. Because I had two guys. One was giving me crazy quotes for okay. my four batteries. I needed new batteries, four batteries, and another one was giving me one that was decent. And let me tell you, the first quote he gave me was about June or so last year. By the time I went back to him this year, there was only like 200,000 difference compared to Imagine. everybody else. You see, greed, that's part of that sabotage economy. My darling, I've got to let you go. The lines are going. I've got yeah, text messages. Job, my, dear. My, my brother, I wish you the very best. Get off greed. Do it. Uh, no problem, no problem. No okay, problem. sweetie. Bye-bye. Right, let me read your text messages because you get upset with me. Right, good afternoon, Cecil Gay. Electricity high. The government is blowing hot and cold as they are trying to curtail, oh, to, okay, to contain inflation, you mean, and um, stabilize the economy. On the other hand, the same government of the day is encouraging electricity meter and interest rate hike. These are inimical policies meant to store businesses and disincentivize dis, dis entrepreneurs. That's Chico from Ijegun 
Ijagemo. Jaga Jaga. <laughs> you got that from me, yes. Jaga 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 Jaga. Yes. Look, Chisco, I hear you, right? Because you are disincentivizing dis businesses. You are killing small. You are killing small businesses. What government needs to come up with a rate. That's what I think. I think government needs not 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 for domestic. But government needs to come up with a rate that's for SMEs. Otherwise, so many SMEs are going to go out of business. And SMEs are actually the backbone of employment and economy in this country. It's not your Tony Lumelus. It's not your Dangotes. No. SMEs are the one that's actually saving government. Because government is not able to provide as much employment as the people need. So government encourages entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs create businesses, entrepreneurs are SMEs, and you want to kill them? You want to cripple their businesses? President Tinumbu, who is the minister of power right now? Can't even remember his name. I need to call him Adzena. Please check his name for me. Because right now, Chisco's got me all wound up. My brother that owns the hotel in Festac has got me all wound up. I need to calm down. <sighs> Still need to drive this bus for a bit longer. Let me read. Let me read. Um, good afternoon, Sister Oge. There has been a false narrative over the years that Nigerians just want steady power and that they're willing to pay for it at any cost. I have heard this over and over again on radio and TV stations by different analysts. Why the opera on tariffs increase? Chooks from Ikorudu. Chooks, you're right. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to attempt to actually answer this. So it's, it's a conversation today, Abby. So... You're right, Chokes. We do want 24 hours power. That is a fact. Nobody will argue with you on that. We also want to know the tariff that we're paying. What we do not want is for tariffs to be going up every quarter, every six months, every year. Because as a business, even as a household, as a mother, a father, or whatever, as a single person, as a salary earner, you are supposed to have, there are some things called autonomous cost in all of our lives. Your autonomous cost is your rent, or in other, in other words, they would say your mortgage, your food, your electricity, your gas bill, your transport fare. Those are autonomous costs. That is to say, those are costs that you cannot get away from as long as you are alive. I, I, I repeat, as long as you are alive, you cannot get away from those costs. Right? Now, you need, and we should all have the right to plan, to say, I earn this much, this is my cost, and this is what I have left over. Even if what I have left over is only 10,000 naira, let me know that I only have 10,000 naira. I do not want to have 10,000 naira left this quarter. And then next year, because I'm still in the same job, I only have 3,000 naira left over. Because somebody somewhere has decided not even somebody, all these people in Nash at the National Assembly who do not think about us, who do not have to worry about prepaid meter, have decided that, oh, okay, because Nigerians want a 24-hour a, a electricity. That Minister of Power, I need to call his name because the first thing, what's his name now? Adebayo. Adelabu. Yeah, I'm talking to you right now, brother. The moment that man got in, it was almost like he was the weapon fashioned against us. All he kept saying was, it has to go up, it has to go up, it has to go up. Zainab is laughing. It's true. That's all he kept saying. I need to find him and get him into this studio. Yes, Mr. Adelabu, Minister of Power. That's all he kept saying. You just go back to the moment he was appointed as Minister of Power. Electricity has to go up. Electricity. Yes, we know. But you are a minister. That means you work for us. What have you done? Have you sat with these discos? And try to figure something out than just imposing this ugly, nasty cost price hike on us. So, Chooks, you're right. We do want 24 hour power. We do deserve 24 hour power. And I know these goes are paying. They're having to pay their own loans and everything. But somebody needs to engage brain. Come on. Somebody needs to engage brain. SMEs matter. I'm not even talking about domestic, just domestic. SMEs, I'm really feeling passionate about small businesses right now. 
how are they going to do it how think of the person that's selling ice block ice block last song just ice block and cold drinks and whatever the other day i bought a bottle of seven up for 350 naira Ah, Lobato. Okay. Zainab, say it again. Now 400 and naira. You see, and the, when I said the other day, that was I went to my friend's mom's funeral. That was only three days ago, Tuesday or whenever it was. So I was thinking, oh, these people are just, you know, they're just taking the mickey out of me because they know I'm in the car now. <gasps> and this was in Ikoyi. Allah, alhamdulillah, Rabbi <laughs> Alameen. Okay, let me get reading. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. Good afternoon, ma'am. There are the there are those who reside in band A neighborhoods without prepaid meters. There are peeps who have applied for meter for over two years and are yet to get their meters. The discos should endeavor to supply all those who have applied and reside in band A er, in band A areas with meters. Otherwise, this would be a massive ripoff on them. That's Michael Samwombo from Ogba. Michael, you're so correct. You say, what's his name again? Adelabu. Adebayo Adelabu. You say, that's what you should have done the moment you got into office. Like your, you know, your colleague who went into, um, your colleague who went into a minister of interior who sorted out the passport backlog. That's what you should have done because lots of people, it's true. Michael Sam Wambo for, Wobo from Ogba is correct. There are lots of people who have been waiting for meters. Adebayo Adelabu, all you care about us is going to go up. It's going to go up. It has to go up. The price has to increase. You're right. Oh, my people, you can call Jerry. I'm off. I'm not going to rant anymore. I want to pass the ranting over to you. The man's been going on about it. Oh, I remember my sister saying, what kind of a minister is this one? She keeps saying, every time this man, it has to go up. Nepa has to go up. Call me, 0700-993-993-993. How is this affecting your business? Let's talk. Yes, Sophia. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. You know, I haven't run my point, but I think my time is up. So I said, let me cut. <laughs> <laughs> that which who is I said, let me cut and call back again. <laughs> you see, the same thing we are talking, you know. I, I love the, uh, the way you are sounding, honestly. You see, why I, I, I need constant power supply. Yeah, that is obvious. Sure. Let me pay and have constant power supply. But what we are complaining is that the, the taxes, the, 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 I mean, the, the interest is so high. It's so high on we, the masses, the citizens of this country. What is our gain as we are having the dividends of this democracy? Eh? What is our gain? There are so many policies, taxes, interest in so many things. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. I have I'm to wrap you up, Bo, because the lines are going. They will okay. say I'm, I mean, I'm favoring you. They talk in custom clearing, mm. custom duties. It's so high. Duties here and there in electricity. What are people who don't have much, much thing they are doing, unemployed? Mm. How do they meet up with these challenges? Please, in high time, let the authorities think and think again and give us evidence of that. buy Adelabu needs to think. Thank you, Rapuchuku. Hello? Yeah, Chief Mr. Richie Bakar. Chief Mr., how are you? Long time, no talk. It's been a little while, far too long. How are you? Mm, thank you very much. Go ahead, my brother. You I have two to, minutes. I want to thank every one of you. Nigerian people have been doing a lot for us. But like I always say, to be a good leader, you have to be a good leader. You just mentioned the man who did the passport stop, right? Yes. This uh, man in charge of uh, Nepa. Adelabu. I'm calling, you've been calling the man. Yes. I hope he's listening. All I people hope so. who are close to him to tell him. But for me, ma, the uh, meeting back amu. Ah, it is, it is to back amu. It is to back amu. Right from uh, the triple <laughs> minister period, um, Fashola, when he was in charge Fash. of uh, three mm. ministries. Mm. Since that time, it's not my kid. I called him, oh boy, I want to disconnect my light from my whatever day. But because of my kids, see you get. Mm. For me, I don't send. I have two generators, the one mm. that can power my fridge. That one that can power my fridge, as far back 2014. I abandoned that one. Mm. 2014, man. Mm. This small one they call apart my neighbor. Mm. I run it last uh, last year. Mm. 
Eh? Mm. So a meeting back, I'm like I said, but I know it can't continue like this. You Indeed. guys have been trying for us, Thank telling you. them what and what to do, bring resource people. Mm. But still, as if they don't know what they are doing. I don't want to say they don't know what they are doing. Mm. Thank but you. But it can't continue like this. Thank, Thank you, you, Chief Minister. God bless you. It is to Bakamu Lagos. It is to Bakamu Nigeria. It is to Bakamu. We are here. Should I read a message? Let me read a message. Adegoke from Lekki says, he said, the problem is that we are the problem. The government will increase anything they want to increase and we will complain and complain and do nothing about it. Is it the NLC who have been bought over that we are waiting for to help us? If that is the case, then we got to be kidding. The government knows we can only bark but can't bite. So they keep poking their fingers in our faces. <gasps> Ouch, that hurts. But, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Government, you know, when governments do interventions, I don't like to call these nonsense palliatives because I think palliative is now a way, it's now the, a euphemism for poverty, weaponization of poverty. So I don't like to say, I don't like the word palliatives. And if you check, you don't often find it. Even in Gaza, they're not saying palliatives. Capish, Get me? Okay. So when governments do interventions... The problem is, okay, yeah. yeah, so the problem is that often those interventions don't find their way downwards. And that's what really, 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 really upsets me. I can be honest and understand and I can be, I can be, how should I say, I can disengage my emotion and engage with my intelligence and say, my intellect rather, and say, look, I understand the fact that there are certain actions that government needs to take. That is not going to be easy. That is going to make us very uncomfortable. And yes, a lot of it will upset us. But we know that there is a way forward. And at least there is a path. Because, you know, there's often, like they say, there's, there's a method to the madness. And that's often the way of government. Especially when you have the mess that we're in. However, what I don't get is, again, I'm talking to Adebayo Adelabu. I have never heard him. Have I got to go? I got to go. I'll be right back. Live from the heart of Victoria Island, you're listening to your number one station, 99.3 Nigeria Info. It's two o'clock. We talk. Real estate police command has paraded 21 suspected iPod members accused of burning three police stations and killing three officers. You talk. They put my steam and they show him face for crime fighter. When rich man steam money, they no go see him face for crime fighter. So what the government has made us to understand is that whatever news that come from the public that is against the government is true. Really talk. Why are they turning their guns, their boots against the defenseless and harmless civilian populace? What is their problem? Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. Let's talk. The headline news on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info, you're listening to the news headlines this hour. Chibok Parents Association calls for the remembrance of 108 Chibok girls still in captivity. House of Reps Minority Caucus criticizes hike in electricity tariff and labels it insensitive. Federal government says speed cameras to catch defaulters and warns against overspeeding as Third Mailen Bridge reopens while President Tinubu tells organized private sector that the economy is at a turning point and needs its support. Chairman of ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government, President Tinubu urges ECOWAS Parliament to ensure direct election into Parliament. Nigeria's Deputy Senate President and 34 others inaugurated into ECOWAS Parliament. Study reveals prostate cancer cases will double over two decades. Police in Delta arrest nine persons over killing of policemen in Ugeli Forest. Crossdresser Bob Risky pleads guilty to a four-count charge of abuse of the Naira and money laundering. U.S. President Joe Biden tells Israel to prevent civilian harm to retain support. Cole Palmer scores two late goals as Chelsea beat Manchester United with odd goal in seven. 
Those are the headlines. This is Done for Conversations with Riti Bakari Yusuf on 99.3 Nigeria Info. I am Yvonne Ohaifo. Experience a better way to stay connected. Listen, fellas and girls. Download the Nigeria Info mobile app on iOS and Google Play Store. Join the conversation and stay connected. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. The conversation is just a click away. 99.3 Nigeria. Let's talk. Welcome back to Danful Conversations right here on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Welcome back to Danful Conversations. We've only got, we're in the last leg, you know, that part where you snooze, you lose. Okay. Um, good afternoon, Cecil Gay. PHC and Mike just be. <laughs> mm-hmm. PHC and is the problem of our life. <laughs> PHC and might just be our very bane in Nigeria. How can you continually increase tariff for an available source of power? Nigeria is a joke, honestly. That's from Mrs. Oboli in Ikorodu. Thank you, Mrs. Oboli. It's true. You know, when they say, I say to people, what is your problem in life? Nigerians will say, PHCN. <laughs> Hello, sister. Help us tell them that we can't be paying for darkness. That's true. The money we have been paying is a total ripoff. With this epileptic power supply, see what they have been doing to us as a nation. They have naked, they have naked at this nation, um, and improvised us. Number one, they waste our time by waiting for power to be restored to work or used for household purposes. Number two, they render businesses unproductive, render us redundant. As working for as a working force number three it's very frustrating and making our children to jack back to where there is an enabling environment number four this is wasting our talents for creative work constant power supply ought to be or to invariably boost our economy to enviable positions that's Shade from Ijegu Shade is so 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 correct um yeah that's the thing you want you want Nigeria to be a production economy you want us to produce you want us to export you want us to make things guess what most of those people that make things are actually smes i'm not talking about the, even the big factories the big manufacturers will, you will hear them complain but i'm talking right now about the little ones the small manufacturers the woman that's making soap at home the one that's making shampoo. The one that makes, I don't know, bread. Oh God, the cost of bread is going to go up. Yeah, the cost of bread. Just when the cost of flour settled, the cost of bread is going to go up. Freaking, freaking, freak. Okay, so you've got that. You've got, you know, small businesses. I can't even think right now. Those who make cakes. And all those other things. The person that's making chinchin. The one that's frying plantain chips. There are lots of small businesses. Nigeria is a country of small and micro businesses. That is what who we are. That is who we are. That is how we have. What is it? Is it two of the big of the unicorns in the world are in Nigeria? They started from somewhere. So we, we, so I do get, I really do, you know I do. I get the part where government, but I've got a beef with Adebayo Adelabu. I need to have a word with him and I need him to explain to us. And I don't think he's explained to us enough. I actually don't think, I, in fact, since they said this money is going up, has anybody heard from him? No. I haven't heard from him. If you've heard from him, please call in 0700-993-993-993. If you've seen him come out with so much as an explanation for us, please call to correct me. I am open to correction all the time, every time. But I don't. What I have of this man, this minister of power, is the moment he came in, <laughs> as the time I giggles because I hear my sister's my sister's words in my ear. She was like, who is this man? Every time this one, oh, this one is, it has to go up. It has to go up. Power has to go up. As in, 
but there are people who do not have meters who have applied for meters why didn't he say to to the discos look i'm not gonna talk to you about power going up till every household in nigeria is metered because i have a list of all these households who are not metered and here are their applications go and do that first before we talk about increase how about negotiating with them and saying right we need to separate the sme from the domestic because right now we need our SMEs and he negotiate something with them. I don't know. I'm sure the minister should have an advisor. I don't care about his advisor. I care about him. I care about him because that's what he's employed to do. He's employed to do. So why is this not happening? Somebody's calling my people. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hello. 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 Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name and where are you calling from? Well, I usually don't like to remain anonymous when I'm talking on radio because I really do. But, um, but this topic is very interesting, so I just I just felt I, I I needed to make a little contribution. Okay, let's give you a nickname then. What's the one name would you like to call yourself? <laughs> Blacky, I'm dark. Okay, go ahead, Blacky. Talk to me. Okay, then. So, um, I think for a long time in Nigeria, we we have refrained from telling ourselves some truth. Mm. about the power, power. Mm. and and really if we want to fix this problem mm. and i think i think we need to take, tell ourselves that too and i look forward to you bringing mr adelabo to the city so that we can really interrogate the we issue. interrogate now, gongo is the word go ahead uh -huh. now, now what are, what are these truths one truth is that power is a commercial product mm. whose major impute which is gas, is dollarized. In Nigeria, we flare so much gas. We've got so much gas wasting mm. that we could trap as impute into to serve generation companies. Mm. But the investment to trap that power has to come from, the, from some financing source. Now, where there is no demand, when the gen cannot generate enough income to pay for that gas. Mm. No investor will put their money in the highly, very expensive infrastructure to trap that power. So we'll continue to flay that power and wasting it away. Mm. That's one truth we must tell ourselves. It's a commercial product. The major impute is dollarized. Secondly, power is... I mean, I'm a small business owner, right? And I realized that I had two small businesses. My wife has a small business. I realized that self-generation is far more expensive than grid generation. Mm. What do I mean by that? Mm. If you have a bad in salon, you will run petrol of like four to five thousand naira every day. Mm. That's true. You forgot business. to buy hair salon. That's the truth. Yes, that's the truth. Five thousand naira a day times 30 days, it's 150,000 naira. It's not cheap. Mm. However, if there is sufficient grid generation at commercially viable pricing, you cannot spend 150,000 naira. And you will even have that power for, for 24 hours, mm. two at a time. Because the power you self-generate, you don't have it for 24 hours. You have yeah. not factor in the cost of maintaining that generator, you not factor the cost of um, of of of, of uh, buying the generator. So we we need to look at ourselves and tell ourselves that the 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 in the framework for the for 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 the market to operate. In fact, government, I think government I think government should just take off its hands from fixing prices of power. Because Investors don't go to where you fix fix prices. If I if I make a dress for ten thousand naira, and government tells me I must sell the dress for seven thousand naira, I won't make a dress in that market. I'll make a dress in the market where I can make my dress, and then competition will determine my price. Mm, mm, mm. Because all of these infrastructure, look at um, um, the Abba power by that this man by Batnanji, yes, Batnanji, eight hundred million dollars. 
financed by debt. Mm. If he got that loan at 25% interest, please calculate in 25% of $800 million. Per annum. Mm. To finance a power plant. Yeah. How does he recover his investment if his government fixes price at below his cost of production? That man is a national hero. That man embarked on that project. Do you know how long it took him? It took him over 20 years. Well, because he he actually finished the project in 2014. Mm. He finished the power plant, but he could not operationalize it because the law prevented him from doing so. Mm. And even right now, unless the tariff cap is removed, that power plant will run at a loss. And that $800 million investment will go down the drain. Mm. These are, these are truths we must tell ourselves. And the truth remains that when, when government removes its hands from fixing prices of power, just like any commodity, then investors will come in to come and invest. It will just be like, well, what happened with you? I bought my first line for 35000 naira. The last mm. set of lines I bought for my office, I've let you talk for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So, so to wrap up, in, they come mm. in to compete, and guess what? They are they are very massive power producers mm. in Europe and America. That will that will run to Nigeria, two hundred million people market. They mm. will run with billions of dollars, and they will set up a long moratorium for themselves because they will access funds very cheap. They could access funds from China. Percent and they'll bring it to Nigeria. We are ready to run for five years without making profit. You know what? They will come with the best prices for power, build their power plants, uh, set up their transmission lines, and then begin to offer the best way to customers. Consumers will enjoy, they earn more customers. In the long run, they'll be to make profit. Mm. That's what happens in the, in the free market. Yeah. In, in investors will come, and guess what? The more investors come into this market, you create millions of jobs. Just imagine the millions of jobs that the telecom market has created, the telecom industry has created. The power industry will be much more than that. If you just allow this market to run like a normal market, and government should stop all this fixing and fixing. We are not a socialist state. There has to be some balance, I agree, and that's where, where buffers now come in. Look, you mentioned the UK. Do they fix price of power, of, of power in the UK? No, they don't. But there are buffers. There are all kinds of buffers that you can have. You can, people can get tax breaks, people can get uh, tax returns, people can get yeah. all kinds of things that ameliorate the initial impact on the poor. People can, people, if government will subsidize anything, they should subsidize solar panels, batteries. So if you're a small business owner and the tariff is high, you can get solar panel at maybe 50% of the rate. I hear you, my brother. And I hear you. And then you can be off-grid. So yeah. All small businesses, the majority of small businesses are off the grid, and they let the major businesses, the, the manufacturers, the massive ones, be mm. on the grid. Mm. And then the small businesses are, subsidi- are, are enjoying subsidy, direct subsidy on their solar installations. Mm. That makes more sense. I hear you. Than, than putting a subsidy on price mm. that drives investors away. Yeah. Thank you. These are, these are truths that we just we need to look ourselves eyeball to eyeball and tell ourselves. Blackie, the this. day I get that minister Debayo Adelabu into this like studio, that day. you I are like better to call calling. In that day. I'm telling you because that man has <laughs> got right, query. Thank you, thank you so much, my brother. God bless you. Thank you for calling. Let, oh, I have calls. Hello. I was just about to read you people's message, <laughs> but somebody <laughs> called. Hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Ogi. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? Where are you calling this from? This is Malik speaking for our papa. Go ahead, Malik. You see, again, okay, when the government have no plan for its citizens, what do you get? Stupid ideas and wow. stupid policies. I mean, policies. Mm-hmm. You see, again, okay, you said you want to increase the tariff of light. Mm. Where is the benefit of the light that you're increasing the tariff? Like I said before, now, if you want to rent an apartment or two bedroom, it's expensive that you'll never be. I mean, you'll never be the person in the apartment you want to rent. So when we put that by going back on that bridge, you are doing something. You did not bring policy that would benefit the citizens. And you came and said you are from the grassroots. 
The high is that grassroots. What are the benefits for me for the past nine months? Going to one year, you came into power. All is problem, 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 problem. Subsidy is gone. Till today, we're not going to recover from it. Till today, it's okay. The IMF is advising you to cause chaos in your country. You are not seeing it. Tell you to remove subsidy from light. I mean, how much are your people eating? Mm. Why your light is even expensive at your minimum wage? If I'm working in one small place that I pay me 30,000 naira, and I have one bedroom, I have a, a, a fan and a fridge, then I have a, a television and cool them. So I'll be paying almost almost 50,000 every month for, for light bill. Then I mean bank A, I be bank C, whatever they call it. They don't run area that has almost 18 hours of life. We're able to pay you. Have you forgot? Mm. Like a van speaker, some areas in Benue State, they have almost 18 hours of life in Benue State. We're able to pay you when they cannot even go to farm anymore. Every day killing from the farm. You've not done anything. Mm. Anyway, I do not blame Mrs. Oge. If Senegal could stand their ground, the president of Sen- the former president of Senegal jailed the present president that should not contest election. But the, the, the people there came out and protest and stood their ground. They released him and he won the election. Nigeria, they are not ready to help you. He no, don't stand well, your ground. Not, not for you. Thank Good you afternoon. very much. Good afternoon. Ade Bayo, Ade Labu. You got query. Ha! Huh. What should I do? Read message first or answer calls? Let me read the message. I have many messages. I can't read all of it because, as you know, we're almost done. <laughs> what is is this? Adebayo de la Buda wrote the petition against the man that's doing well now at Abia State. Now he cannot achieve anything <laughs> if he like. <laughs> if you like, let him increase tariff to 2,000%. Markets today, they will not achieve anything. Call the man from Abia now before it's too late. Don't call him the man from Abia. Let's say Dr. Professor. Actually, he's Professor. He's Professor Bartnanji. Professor Bartnanji. I'm not even sure if he's from Abia State, actually. I'll have to confirm. I know he is from the Southeast. But I'm not sure if he's from this from 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 Abia, but he is. And I, let me tell you what I remember about Prof. This was way back in my days when I used to do news analysis, and I remember Prof. Then he was Minister of Power, and like this, Adebayo Adelabuda. Let me stop calling him because maybe you will know. You know they get scared of coming to our show. Did you all know that? They actually get scared of coming to Nigeria. Info that is a fact. That is a 100% fact that I'm putting out there. But I'm going to still do my best to get. So it's not like we don't reach out to these people. Honestly, it's not that we don't. They really are afraid to come. Because they're afraid of you guys. You guys are scary. <laughs> yes, so you guys are scary. Some of you people that have called today. I did not I black people like, are you kidding me? That's how they will abuse me. They won't abuse me by calling me names. They will abuse me by telling me what I should have done. And I'll leave and probably try to resign. Anyway. Back to what I was saying. So I remember Prof, Prof Nanji, in my days of when I used to do news analysis, and um, he was Minister of Power then. And so NEPA, there had been some sort of big work contract that had been done by the Chinese to the national grid or whatever again. And um, but this thing keeps kept falling down. So I remember it was in the news. So Prof went into, um, you know, Nepa kept saying it's because of this thing. So Prof went into one of the Nepa power stations, and um, PHCN, and um, when he got there, when he got there, he was like, "Why is this not working?" They said. It hasn't worked since they left. Well, why hasn't it worked since they left? Because we don't know how to work it. Well, why don't you know how to work it? (laughs) You're not going to believe it. Because the instructions manual that they left for them was in Chinese. Prof is like, and you never said anything. I mean, I'm paraphrasing here. I'm telling you how the conversation would have gone because the story was in the paper and I remember. I always remember it because I remember analyzing it at the time. And the man was furious. Furious. Like that's the equivalent. No, it isn't the equivalent. That is part of that sabotage economy that I keep talking about. Sabotage economy because it's self-sabotage for something to happen. 
for somebody to come and install something in your house, say, you know, leave, leave you with instructions manual, and it's the and it's in a language that you don't speak nor understand, nor can you read. But hey, yes, the man from Abia's name is Prof. Prof did a lot of work to get there. In fact, you've seen all the people that's been thanked now. The story is long. Anyway, good afternoon, Stig. I believe we the people need to unite our pain and protest. We need a people citizen pressure group. There are many, many, many. On that, I believe we can, st we can start small by creating a program for online protest. We vote a national problem. We vote a national problem or issue of that week. We find the minister and ministry responsible for that problem and complain online with their handles and unified hashtag, especially on Twitter. If we coordinate it over time, it catches on and brings attention to major plights as well as putting ministers on their toes. That's from Bawe Nikodubayo. That's, Bawe, that's an excellent idea. I think that's such a smart idea. Yeah, you know, we can, yes. That's such a smile. That's, we put them on their toes. Absolutely. Um, I can't read anymore. I'm running out of time. Good morning. Oh, you mean good afternoon, Sissy. Uh, my name is Victoria and I reside in Philadelphia. I happily paid £42 electricity bill yesterday because I earn. Oh, you cheeky so-and-so. Come and see you. Come and be gloating to us like that. Because I earn... $1,800 weekly, and it's a 24-7 electricity supply. I really feel pity for my Nigerian people being governed by greedy politicians. Uh, look at you. You feel victory. Look at you. You, 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 you. you feel pity for us, and you're now posing. Posing that you get away with you. You pay 42 for what? How much is 42, $42? Yeah, but I get you, though. You're telling us the truth, and it hurts. Um, good afternoon, Sissi. Okay, those... Oh, I can't read long messages now, people. These are those who reside in Band A and neighborhoods without prepaid meter. There are peeps who have... Oh, I've read that already. I've read that already. So, anyway, let me answer one last call before we go. You have two minutes. Hello. 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 Make it a good one. Hello. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Good afternoon. Is this your morning... No, I said, what is your name and where you calling from? That you should make it a good call. You have two minutes. Okay. Less than two minutes, Seth. One minute, yeah. Call me, God, call me God's will. God's will. Go ahead. You have one minute, quickly. You see, Nigeria should tackle the real problem that is worrying them. You know? They should stop chasing shadows. The real problem is there is no love amongst each other, among one another. People are so even minded towards others, you know? And if you don't do that, naturally, nothing will work. People should stop shooting themselves on the foot and still expecting changes. People hate each other. People are so greedy, self centered, and wicked in this country. Thank you. There is no love for people, for each other. Thank you. So, it's not only politicians who. I hear you. Like, I'm not arguing with you at all. I hear you. Thank not you. politicians. Yeah. So Thank you very stop, much. Stop making noise unnecessarily. Okay. Thank you. I've got to go. God bless you. But he's right. It's right. Our pers our greed, the greedy culture or the culture of greed, that's what it is. It's not a greedy culture. It's the culture of greed in this country also exacerbates the pain and all the things that we have to suffer. You know, I don't know, have I only got, if I've got like two, I'll tell you something. The other day, uh, I've got 17 seconds, 17, 16. So I'm not, I can't tell you that story. I would have told you something that confirmed this greed to me that I experienced over the weekend, over the Easter weekend. But I'll tell you another time. It's been great doing Jiggy Jaga, Jiggy Jaga all the way to Adebayo Adelabu's house, his office. <laughs> Even this auto light phone, I've been advised to go call him. What's it you they always praise for dear? No mind me, Jerry. I've been check something for Google. <laughs> Say you didn't want me, me, you the browse Google with this touch light phone. Come see now with MTN Basic Search. Just that star. Triple seven one seven ash. Only on MTN Light to check anything on the web without data. Shop shop. <laughs> see now. Say you know go like try this innovation powered by MTN. We could give you basic search. Shop shop without data for your phone. This one be saying no data, no problem. Just dial star triple seven one seven hash. Only on MTN. 
and light. Everyone says I'm beautiful and bold. They say I'm fashionable. And to crown it up, very confident. <laughs> and 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.